Hi, thanks for watching this tutorial about managing treatment plans in Practice Web Software. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to identify the different treatment plan statuses, use the various treatment plan features in the chart module, manage treatment plans from the treatment plan module, move procedures between treatment plans, activate inactive treatment plans, and delete treatment plans. Identify the different treatment plan statuses. Active treatment plans. Only one active treatment plan can exist at a time for a patient. There are no special steps. It's automatically created when you chart procedures with a treatment plan status via the different methods in Practice Web. You can use procedure buttons, the aptprox quick add list in your edit appointment window, appointment types, and the like. For additional information, check out our website for our user's guide and chart module webinars. Procedures on an active plan display in various areas of the chart module. It's in the progress notes as red colored graphics on the tooth chart and when the treatment plan feature is enabled in the chart module. That's something we'll discuss a little bit later. Inactive treatment plans. A patient can have many inactive treatment plans that you can turn into an active treatment plan. This is helpful for phased or staged treatment and hiding decline treatment to reduce chart clutter. Procedures in an inactive treatment plan are removed from all chart module views in the chart module. This can be accessed only when the treatment plans feature is enabled in the chart module. It is possible for treatment plan procedures to exist in both an inactive and active treatment plan. This is helpful in the situation where procedures in an active treatment plan haven't been finalized as needing to be inactive. Save treatment plans. A patient can have many saved treatment plans. They serve as read-only versions of the treatment options presented to patients at the time of their appointment. Procedures completed and thus removed from an active treatment plan will still display on a saved treatment plan and be marked as done. Let's see how all three of these treatment plan statuses work in the software. Treatment plan features in the chart module. 
You can view treatment plan procedures from the chart module using two ways. First, create a custom treatment plan view under the chart view under the show tab, or second, enable the treatment plans checkbox. In this section, you can see treatment plans directly from within the chart module, and this doesn't require you going into the treatment plan module. You can also build options for treatment. Chart procedures directly into an existing treatment plan you want to build on. This is useful for presenting options to the patient. In the example we have here, we're presenting three total options based on how deep the decay is on tooth number 14. Chart procedures into multiple treatment plans at once by selecting the relevant treatment plans you want to add the procedures to. Display treatment plans on the odontogram. By default, the active treatment plan determines what procedures show on the tooth chart when you're not in the treatment plan view. The tooth chart graphics change based on the selected treatment plan. The treatment plan view, again, must be enabled in order for this to show. This will graphically display the treatment options. As we learned from previous webinars, it's very important to prioritize procedures in the treatment plan because whatever is topmost on the list will be what insurance benefits are applied to. Click into any treatment plan. Select one or many treatment plan procedures at once. Select the priority that should be assigned to those procedures. Use the Delete button from within the procedure to delete. Manage treatment plans from the treatment plan module. Treatment plans can be managed from both the chart and treatment plan modules. This begs the question of why do we need a treatment plan module in the first place? The answer to that is having a separate module limits the information the patient sees when presenting treatment plan options. After all, it is not part of our regular protocol to display our service or chart notes to the patient. Understand the treatment plan window. Double click on your active treatment plan to see the list of procedures. The various headings are as follows. Treatment plan procedures. Procedures on the left in the current treatment plan selected. Available procedures. Procedures on the right that exist on other treatment plans. Both of these sections have status column where any procedure that is on the active plan will have a status of TP even if it exists on an inactive treatment plan as well. When a procedure only exists on an inactive treatment plan, the status of it will be TPI or TP inactive. There is also a treatment plan or TP column on both sections. This is the number of treatment plans this procedure exists on. And lastly, the appointment column. This shows procedures that are scheduled or are in a planned appointment. Move procedures between treatment plans. Earlier, I showed you how to move procedures directly from the active treatment plan into an inactive or unassigned treatment plan. Scheduled procedures cannot be moved from that section. So if your treatment plan procedures are scheduled, you can create a new treatment plan to duplicate those procedures from an active plan into an inactive treatment plan. This feature would be helpful for situations where the inactive treatment plan is not finalized. To do this, click on the new TP button in the treatment plan module, 
select the procedures you want to move and move them using the left and right arrow buttons. Define and explain unassigned status. Procedures that are removed from all treatment plans will become marked as unassigned. Unassigned procedures can be moved to either an active or an inactive treatment plan. To do this, double click into the treatment plan, be it active or inactive, that you want to add those procedures to. Use the arrows to move it into the plan. Once moved, the unassigned treatment plan goes away. And lastly, you can turn unassigned treatment plans to active treatment plans. Activate inactive treatment plans. To activate an inactive treatment plan, double click into an inactive treatment plan and use the Make Active Treatment Plan button. The inactive treatment plan will now be marked active and it'll turn the existing active treatment plan into an inactive treatment plan. In the scenario just described, scheduled procedures from the original active treatment plan will carry over to the newly generated active treatment plan. Delete treatment plans. Only inactive treatment plans can be deleted. Active treatment plans cannot be deleted because the button is literally grayed out. When you delete an inactive plan, procedures that exist on other plans will stay in those other plans. This completes our overview on managing treatment plans in Practice Web. If you have any questions about something that was not covered in this tutorial, please call or support at 800-845-9379, option 2. You can also email us at support at practice-web.com.